hello guys how are you doing how are you all welcome and welcome back to my channel today's video is going to be about how i moisturize my locks yes guys it's been a while but i'm still loving rocking and enjoying the lock journey so i'm giving you a three sister look of what my micro locks look like before i moisturize them before i apply anything on them i shake them pretty much vigorously guys because they can be things that can get stuck in your locks so i try to make i make sure i remove any particle any fibers anything like that from my locks before i apply anything on them okay guys i've been getting the most beautiful comments whenever i moisturize my locks so i'll be telling you what i use when i apply on them First is my water bottle that I spray a little bit of leave-in conditioner into the water just to, to combat the dryness and promote softness. Secondly, I use the mango and lime Jamaican oil that I add a little bit of castor oil. And last, I use the shea butter mixed with some olive and coconut oil that I mix with in the microwave just to make it a homogeneous paste. So first thing is I use the mango and lime Jamaican oil. I apply them on my fingers, but guys, you can apply the bottle directly on your scalp. I just, I just don't want to make my scalp so oily so i start with my edges so i don't forget them they are very important parts of my hair of my head yeah guys so i keep on repeating the same process trying to make sure i put oil on every part of the scalp and i also massage as well so i just don't put the oil on my scalp i make sure i rub them and i massage it to penetrate very well into the scalp and promote growth okay so this is what i pretty much do everywhere making sure every part of the hair gets the oil but not over oil the scalp if you understand what i mean I only apply the bottle after washing my locks so I know they are pretty fresh there is no oil so they need a bit more I manipulate my hair a lot and make sure I remove anything I can see that gets stuck in my hair the next step would be to add my water concussion which is um, the water mixed with a little bit a pinch of leave-in conditioner okay the mixture has to really be watery and it's just less than 10 percent leave-in conditioner i make sure now that i really apply it on the hair itself the hair follicles making sure the water has penetrated very well on the hair to soften them and not forgetting the tips the tips of the hair is so important they need to have as much care as any other part of the hair and yes guys i do my own retie so there will definitely be a video on how i do my own reties so I make sure I apply my hands on the hair to assure myself that every single part of the hair is well um, humidified and look at how it looks it looks just elastic it feels elastic softer it bounces is it, it feels really good now the hair is really dripping i have really soaked my hair with the water and the next thing would be to sealing this moisture okay guys sealing the moisture is so important because when you don't do that your hair would dry up pretty much fast and it will look like you've not done anything so to seal the the moisture 
you need to add some a little something thicker okay an oil that is a bit thicker that's why i use the the shea butter mixed with the coconut and olive oil i would apply it on my hands rub them my concussion is already very light so you can see my hands it really looks like it's oil that is on my hands so i make sure it's really on the oil um form and not cakey because anything heavy anything cakey would just get stuck on your locks this is what i would do i take the advantage to massage again just making sure i apply this oil the, the the thicker oil on the hair itself to keep the water not from just drying so quickly making sure everything every hair every part of the hair has gotten the oil to get sealed and now reshaping the hair guys that's pretty much it and now i'm now feeling my hair guys it feels so good it feels amazing right now the lightning is really not one of the best but i would show you how it looks like during the day after i have done this i really received the nicest the most the most warm compliments whenever i do this and anytime i'm going out i make sure i do this that's pretty much it guys you are done moisturizing your locks if you do that you're just done guys and this process would take you maximum three to five minutes and that's it you shake 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 and voila that's all guys that's all i do to moisturize my locks and now i'm just reshaping them making sure they don't look really they don't look kind of crazy you know and that's it if this content was helpful to you please smash the like button comment and subscribe thank you for watching guys until my next video